Hello, my dear pupils. How is your day? I hope that you are all fine and excited to learn. Are you ready? Let's go! You have previously learned that the new plants grow from seeds. This is called sexual reproduction. And there are plants that grow that do not involve seeds. This is called asexual reproduction. Meaning, there is no need for the union of male sex cell and female sex cell. The plants grow from roots, stem, and leaves. Like the horseradish or malunggay, this kind of plant can reproduce sexually or asexually. Kangkong, oregano, and malunggay can grow into a new plant from stem. And katakata, a plant can grow into a new plant from leaves. Do you know that there are plants that don't have flowers? So, it means that the plant cannot bear fruit. In general, plants are classified into two major groups, flowering and non-flowering plants. Angiosperm or flowering plants Flowering plants are those that have an obvious flower as accessory organ. Plants that belong to angiosperm family reproduce bisexually by means of their flowers. The presence of flowers may give clue that the plant produces seeds that mature within the fruit. Monocotyledonous plants are a class of flowering plants whose embryo or seed store only one cotyledon. You can recognize a monocot by its leaves. They have long parallel veins running down the leaf. Dicotyledonous plants are plants with netted veins and with two cotyledons in its embryo. Some examples of dicotyledonous plants are malunggay, manga, and oregano. Let us classify the following plants that I will show you. Identify whether it is a monocot or a dicot. Gymnosperm. Gymnosperms are a group of plants which produce seeds that are not contained within an ovary or fruit. The seeds are open to the air and are directly fertilized by pollination. Gymnosperm from the Greek word gymnos or naked and sperma meaning seed. Develop their seeds on the surface of scales and leaves, which often grow to form cone or stalk shapes. Most, they are small plants that produce pores for reproduction instead of seeds and don't grow flowers, wood, 
or true roots. And ferns are plants that do not have flowers. Ferns generally reproduce by producing spores, similar to flowering plants. Ferns have roots, stems, and leaves. Hello guys, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye!